Unsurprisingly, one person who didn't feature in Meghan and Harry's documentary is Meghan's ex-husband, Trevor Engelson. Trevor, a 44-year-old American television producer, dated Meghan for seven years before the pair married in 2011. They were married for two years before separating and were divorced by August 2013, citing irreconcilable differences, with sources previously claiming they grew apart when Meghan took a new role on Suits two months before their wedding. Tom Bauer, in his book Revenge, claimed that Meghan destroyed evidence of a first wedding to Trevor Engelson. Why Meghan would choose to destroy evidence that she was ever married to Trevor? What was Meghan Markle trying to hide? Bauer says that there were two weddings, one at a courthouse in Los Angeles, and the second, more well-known one in Jamaica, that was just one big party. The wedding ceremony is thought to have had 102 guests, and it was over in 15 minutes before they took to the dance floor, eager to party. He also alleges that no one could find out about the wedding without a court order. This is odd, as she and Trevor weren't even well known. Tom Bauer says the first years of the relationship were blissful, with Meghan barely able to keep her hands off a boyfriend and nicknaming him Trevity Trev Trev. But Meghan didn't even want to get married for the right reasons. She didn't love Trevor because she genuinely loved him. She wanted to marry him for the ring, and that was it. Even his parents saw through her act and were devastated by her betrayal when she returned a wedding and engagement rings to Trevor in the post without a note. Also, no one was allowed to take videos or photos, however Tom Sr. did, and he's hung onto them. Only Thomas's photos remain, some of which have been made public if they're his. Moreover, Meghan didn't realise she couldn't keep the marriage entirely under wraps. As a result, there were over 100 witnesses to the ceremony in Jamaica. They could all say there was a wedding, amongst the guests were the casts of Suits. Now, there is speculation that not all the cast liked Meghan, one is allegedly Sarah Rafferty, who played Rachel Zane's best friend Donna. If there is an answer to this question, we'd say that Meghan was embarrassed to be married to a man whose career was at some stalemate as hers was. Leaving Los Angeles and Trevor, Meghan told the producers was not a downside, Bauer wrote. Although Meghan could commit herself to Trevor, she didn't like being possessed. He added, if necessary, Suits was her get-out card from the relationship and a friend said it put a strain on the relationship. Trevor was in LA making movies, Meghan was in another country five hours flights away, and it simply took its toll. She knew from the beginning that she was only accepting the proposal and going through of the wedding because of the bling. Does anyone believe it's strange that all the time she and Trevor were married, they never lived in the same house? Meghan fails to realise that there's a paper trail. Just because she said no photos and destroyed the wedding video, doesn't mean that all of the evidence is suddenly gone. As mentioned earlier, there were witnesses in Thomas's photos. Also, documents were filed at the Los Angeles courthouse that a marriage had happened. When the divorce came around, Meghan seemed to forget all of this and didn't have the marriage annulled. What's even stranger is that she's never denied being married before Harry. So why destroy the wedding tape in the first place? Even if the marriage were annulled, there'd still be proof.